Hey guys, Brettles here, and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. Today I am building Moderno Ranch, which is a ranch that's modern, and it has an O on the end, so it's fancy. That's how the English language works, apparently. It is, it is legitimately how it works. You can just put some extra letters on the end of it, and it sounds fancy. It's the same with, like, manu car manufacturers, and how they name their cars. It's like a Ford Focus RS. That's better than a normal Ford Focus. It's like SV6 for a Commodore. I don't know. It's just... It's, letters on the end make things sound better. Anyway, yes, it is an actual proper speed build. Two speed builds within the period of a couple of days. What? Is this the same channel? I don't know. Uh, no, the other the other speed build that I put up, uh, Creekside Starter, it was just a little one. It was a starter home. Uh, and I figured, you know what? I haven't done a proper big speed build in a while. I've got an idea in my head that I want to try. So I started building, and you're watching the result of that creative process. <laughs> creative process. There's not much of a creative process in it. It's build and swear when it doesn't work. Uh, that's also why I don't do, um, uh, like, Let's Build series. I know Let's Build series... I mean, I see Let's Build series as a lazy way of doing it. I don't know. It just seems lazy to me. Because uh, it's not as much editing and you sort of get more out of it. I know it's sort of a good thing to get more out of it, but I don't want to, like, drag it out. It's like, yes, I'm building this house that I was building six months ago. No, I just get, get driven freaking spare doing that. It's no fun. Uh, but yeah, this house is a modern ranch. I don't know what I'm rambling on about, but it's a modern ranch. Uh, when I say ranch, I mean it's a traditional ranch style. It's got a, it's a very low profile house. That's what a ranch is. I I looked it up before I named this thing, so it's true. It's Wikipedia told me it's true. Um, yeah, it's got a very low profile. It's a single si si single single level single floor. It's a four bedroom two bathroom house. On the right hand side are. Two bedrooms and one bathroom. Then in the basement, there's a small basement with a, uh, a double bedroom and a bathroom. Then all the way out the back in the back right-hand corner in a separate sort of area, there is a granny flat or it's it's sort of like an outhouse. There's a, um, a rumpus room on the bottom floor of that and then there's a second floor to it with uh, another bedroom with like twin beds in there. So if you've got twins, like twin teens, you can chuck them in there if you want. Alive, not just dead. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's that's the house. Four bedroom, two bathroom. You could probably get some more space out of it, but I wanted to have, like, nice big bedrooms. And realistically, do you need any more than four bedrooms for your average family? I don't think so. So I put four bedrooms in there, and it uh, works quite well. You've got nice big bedrooms as well, which is a plus. Uh, also, in the last speed build I did, uh, and I would like to sincerely apologize for this, I didn't actually realize... Until somebody pointed it out, and then I looked back at what I said, and yeah, I said it wrong. I said, um, I, I don't know why I was talking about Lord of the Rings, but I said it's like Bilbo Baggins coming back from Mount Doom, or Bilbo Baggins coming back to his house after burning the One Ring in the fires of Mount Doom. Now, if you're not a Lord of the Rings fan, that probably sounds fine, but oh god, is it so wrong. I'm so sorry, <laughs> it was Frodo who burned the ring in the fires of Mount I mean, honestly, Sam's the one who did all the work. I mean, Frodo's freaking useless. Let's be honest, he he did nothing. All he did was collapse and complain all the time. I mean, I, I get that the ring was sort of wearing him down and everything and trying to corrupt him, but... I mean, Sam carried him up the fire, up the side of Mount Doom, for God's sake. Anyway, I'm, I'm going on about Lord of the Rings. The point is, I'm sorry, I got it wrong. I know I got it wrong. I didn't mean to get it wrong. I do know what the correct thing is. I know that it was Frodo who carried him up the side. What I should have said is Bilbo coming home after defeating uh, Smaug. Under the lonely... Oh, no, well, it, I guess it was Bard who defeated Smaug, wasn't it? With the black... I don't know. Anyway, the point is, I'm sorry. I know it was wrong, and I will think next time before I say random shit and make a fool of myself. Anyway, talking about the house. Um, the house took about through some time to build. I don't know how long... I'll, I'll, have, a, I'll, look, I'll have a look at the footage while I'm recording. Yeah, but it, it, uh, it took a bit of time to build, but I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was something like a three and a half hour build from memory. Something like that. Yeah, from the footage I'm looking at, it, it, it was about three and a half hours. Uh, I'm not sure how this footage looks so sped up, because it is sped up quite a fair bit. Uh, about six, seven times, something like that, maybe. Maybe even eight times, I'm not sure. Um, hopefully it's watchable. The way I'm looking at it now, it seems it seems perfectly fine to me, so hopefully you guys will agree. Um, but otherwise, it was just going to be a stupidly long speed build. And I'm not a big fan of speed builds that are sort of over 30 minutes. I know I used to do them all the time. But you know, I just see no point in having a build that's over 30 minutes long because that's not exactly digestible and watchable. Or really all that enjoyable. Um, but yeah, there's the pool going in the middle. You do get a nice big pool. It's fountains and stuff. Uh, this is meant to... It's built in um, Oasis 
springs. I always get confused with Oasis Landing. Why would they put two Oasis things in separate games? And like, they, I don't know. <laughs> what am I the point is, it's it's an oasis in the desert. That's that's the important thing. There's lots of greenery, there's a pool, there's lots of lovely shrubbery and plants and stuff. And it's nice, it's nice. Uh, the interior of the house is a little bit different to the outside of the house, um, just like style-wise. Um, the inside of the house is very much a, uh, uh, well, an industrial. I mean, I do love the industrial style, um, but it's sort of like what you would imagine a New York loft to be, I suppose. Um, so it lo looks quite nice. You've got like some sort of a... It's like an art gallery in there, sort of. It was it, I don't know what I was thinking when I put it there, but um, it looks good in the end. You've got some art pieces up on the wall and then like the down light sort of shining on them. And uh, it does look nice. It just it helps fill up the space because the space inside is just colossal and I had to find some way to pick it up. Uh, it does look somewhat empty or it may look to some people to be empty, but that's the style I was going for. I wanted it to look sort of big and expansive. Um, and semi-minimalistic. Minimalistic? That is exactly how you pronounce that word. Fantastic. Uh, here's the outhouse I was talking about. <clears throat> Apologies. Uh, yeah, it's a, uh, just got a rumpus room down the bottom. And then up the top, there's a, uh, a, fount a fountain. A, um, a balcony. How the hell did I get falcon? F fountain from balcony. Yeah, there's a, uh, a balcony up the top and then, uh, a single bedroom with two beds in it. So, like I said, you could put, uh, twins there. If you wanted to... Which I think would be quite cool. I think it would work quite well. Uh, but yeah, just you, I finally figured out how to use get the uh, sort of constrained floor elevation. I mean, it's not the same as constrained floor elevation, um, but you put the frames around the um, the outside of the the roof, and then it sort of looks good rather than just like the big sort of raw white edge that you get there with the terrible textures on it. That doesn't look particularly good. So you get the uh, the black framing, and uh, everything looks quite spiffy. Um, but yeah, what else is there to talk about? I never know what to talk about with these builds. Legit, I just... I don't know. I end up rambling about random stuff. Um, I can, I could always talk about current issues in the world, but that's sort of a downer. I mean, I could always talk about the death penalty and stuff, because that seems to be a big thing with the Boston bomber getting executed. I don't know. It's kind of a dark subject. I think I'll leave that there. Uh, I don't know why those windows did that. I've never actually seen the windows do that in The Sims 4 before. They used to do it in The Sims 3 all the time when you placed them with um, move objects on. But I didn't place those windows in The Sims 4 with bb.moveobjects on. Oh, God, I said that quickly. Well done, me. Um, yeah, so I don't know why they sort of clipped through the wall, but they did. There's not much you can do to change it, so that's okay. Um, the, I didn't know what sort of colour I wanted with the house. I knew I just wanted neutrals. But uh, I felt like the big sort of pole... No, I don't know what the hell you'd call them. The, <laughs> I don't know what they are. The big uh, up... The L-shaped things. The upside-down L-shaped things that are up. I ended up painting them green in the end just to bring in a bit of colour. Because I, I wanted some colour, but I wanted it neutral. So I thought the nice sort of lime green accents on those would look nice. And it did in the end. Quite good. Uh, you'll also be able to see this house. Uh, or you probably would have already seen this house if you saw the most recent video that's gone up. The uh, Bredos Play Sims 4 video. Uh, which is fun. I don't know. I, just, I wanted to do something different. That was just a bunch of jump cuts and silliness. And uh, just throwing a bunch of random sims in a household and seeing what happened. I didn't play as them, I didn't play with them, I just chucked them in a household and watched. It was it was fun. It was fun to record as well. I do like doing that. Just a, a bit a bit of a goofing off video every now and then. Uh, doing a bit of landscaping. It's funny how I've reversed the way I do things in The Sims 3, uh, Sims 4 compared to The Sims 3. I always did landscaping last in The Sims 3. Now I do landscaping first. Whew, dangerous ways. Keeping things fresh and dandy. Um, there's all the uh, different plants that I'm talking about, making it feel like an oasis. I was going to paint the uh, the sand green, but I did quite like the sand look there. It sort of reminded you that you are in a desert, but um, you still get the nice luscious feel. Luscious, I love that word. Luscious Malfoy. <laughs> that's, that's what my, my sister always calls him. That's what I always call him. That's what everybody calls him. Is there anybody out there who doesn't call him Luscious Malfoy? Surely everyone calls him, because like, his name is Luscious. Lucius Luscious. Same thing, doesn't matter. Anyway. Yes, um... I don't know, I, 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 I don't know what to talk about in these videos. I know I keep saying this, but there's nothing much to really talk about. There's not much I can do. It's just sort of sitting here and trying to sound not completely boring for uh, a solid... God, how long is this video? 30 minutes? 30 minutes-ish? Yeah, about 30 minutes long. Uh, which is difficult if you, uh, if you don't know what it's like to talk about nothing for 30 minutes and try to sound interesting. It is... Uh, it's a bit of a task. Um, I was actually surprised in this uh, house as well. How it didn't take me long to furnish the inside. Usually the videos sort of go first third of the video 
is building the outside and then the second sort of third of the video is all the second the next two thirds of the video are furnishing but with this it was sort of half and half ish maybe a little bit less than half and half but it sort of felt like a bit more i don't know i mean i'm sort of looking at the video now it's been going for 10 minutes um but there are a lot of screenshots but holy shit are there that many screenshots at the end good god how many screenshots did i take oh my god God, that's a solid, like, eight minutes of screenshots. I uh, may be... I may have overdone that. That's okay. <laughs> just, just sure as hell know what the house looks like when it's done. Uh, yes, uh, here goes the green things. Uh, I had come back from going out. I'd, I'd left the house. I had left, like, my house. My house. And this house. I'd stopped building this house. I'd gone out. I'd got refreshed. I'd had lunch. And I came back with a vengeance and put in some skylights. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know they're actually just holes straight through. But imagine this skylights. We don't have skylights in The Sims 4, so I did my own. Because YOLO. That's the way I live my... I hate people that say YOLO, Jesus. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's the thing. Uh, there's skylights. There's some over the kitchen and also over the living room just to let in a bit of extra natural light. You don't have to put them in. Also, I, I to this day, do not know what happens here. I keep trying to join up everything, and then it just it just freaks. And I don't get it. Every time I try to join up the walls... It just it just flipped out and the entire floor disappeared. So I had to redo the entire interior layout of the structure. I don't know why I'm complaining so much. It really didn't take all that long, but still, it's, it's something I would rather not have done. But it's something I did have to do, which was irritating. And I I don't know why it happened. Just any time I try to connect the outside wall to an interior wall, it would just like make the room a room, and then everything outside that room would just get deleted. I don't know. Sims 4 is weird. I still don't know entirely how the mechanics work of uh, in build mode, so I just sort of do my best and hope it works. That's the way I live my life. Um, yes, uh, now I start going inside, I suppose. Uh, changing the foundations to green, so they all look green. Luckily, there was actually a max matching green foundation to the uh, green concrete I used on the sticky uppy upside down L Spire things. Well, L Spire. Oh, yes, that sounds excessively Hispanic. Well done. Sounds Mexican. Yes. Or there, I don't know, racist. Sorry. <clears throat> anyway, point is, uh, inside of the house, it's a uh, it's a different sort of style, as you can see. Um, I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I so don't know what to talk about with these videos. I'm so sorry. I keep rambling and saying I don't know, but I I legitimately don't know. You'd think after doing this for God, how much long I've been doing YouTube now? 18 months almost. I would bloody well know how to not make myself sound like an idiot, but I just seem to make myself. What the hell? Oh God. Okay. <laughs> It's the, it's the basement. I was wondering what the hell was going on there. I even confused myself. You see, that, that shows you how on the ball I am. How, 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 how just up to date I am with everything. Not at all. Uh, yes, the, uh, the basement. That's the bedroom down the bottom. All large bedrooms, as I said. And then uh, two bathrooms as well. So, you know, your sims have uh, plenty of opportunity to go to the toilet. It's not like... If you have, like, one toilet in the house, you know, you're busting and somebody else is in there and you can't get in and you're busting and you explode and it's terrible. Oh, there's only one toilet in my house and it happens often. No one needs to know that, Braden. Move on. Uh, yeah, just putting these down lights, shining at the wall, and then artwork because it looks quite cool. It, it, it does look cool. I, I enjoy that. It makes me very happy. Uh, putting on BB.move... Not BB.move objects on. BB.ignore gameplay unlocks entitlement. Who thought that was a good idea? Are they just taking the piss? I think that was a joke, actually. I think they did the cheats like that as a joke, but I don't think it's very funny. I think it's a pain in the ass. I mean, uh, yes, I want to unlock some of these objects. Before it was like, um, buy debug and then you could unlock a shit ton of objects. Now it's bb.ignore gameplay unlocks entitlement. It takes you 33 years just to put that cheat in. Why, why is that a good idea? Please fix it. I mean, EA pissed me enough. Piss, piss me enough? Piss me off enough as is. They don't need to go trolling me at the same time. Anyway, point is. That, what am I saying? Brain fart. Ah, yes. Fireplace. Lounge room. Lounges. Television. And things. Yeah, it feels semi-sparse, this house. But, um... I like how it turned out. It's. I mean, you've got plenty of room for everyone to walk around. This would be a great... A really, really great party pad. Look at that. BB.ignore gameplay unlocks entitlement. That's not funny, Sims Studio. It's not funny at all. There's some pillars and a, uh, a thing and a thing and another thing. Hey, another things. Yeah. Look at that. No. Does that annoy anyone? 
because I don't know how that annoys anyone, the semi-crooked rugs. I just sort of offset them a little bit. I like the look of the offset rugs, but I don't know if that annoys anyone else. I mean, I'm not going to change it, but I just want to know. <laughs> it's kind of pointless asking that, isn't it? Do you guys like this or do you not? No, we don't like it. Don't care. I'm keeping it. <laughs> so I'm just that thing. Uh, I was going to put in some blinds here, but I thought, uh, I mean, this house is sort of low profile. You're not going to get a massive amount of sunlight in the windows anyway, so why restrain or constrain what we're getting in anyway? So it's not going to be a real lot. I was going to go with those chairs, but I didn't like them. They didn't really fit. They were too. They were a bit too soft. The rest of the house was a bit harder, so I decided to go with those chairs. I don't know. Uh, I was actually playing with this house, like I said, in the uh, most recent video that I made. And, uh, wow, well, my voice sounds completely different with my headphones off. Because I never hear my videos with my headphones off. It's I, I always record with my headphones on. And, oh, this is weird. This is really weird, because I've got the pop filter really close to my face, because you can talk, I talk really close to the microphone. My nose is almost touching it, that's how close I am. And when I talk, because the pop filter is like metal, and it's like grated, really fine sort of mesh, it makes this weird noise. Oh, I've never noticed this before, because I never record with my headphones off. Oh, it's weird, I don't like it. Okay, headphones back on. It's I, I Because you can't hear it, you don't actually notice it with your headphones on but you can sort of feel the vibration with them that's strange i have an, ex an existential crisis here that's bad is that still there did that stay there did that stay there i don't know i'm not <laughs> i'm sort of i'm losing i'm losing my mind here i don't i don't even know what's happening uh anyway yes moving into the kitchen um, I've played with this house a little bit, as I said, so I'm sort of just wondering, like, I don't remember actually seeing a lot of this stuff here. I don't know if it's all there. I don't, I don't understand. It's, it's strange for me, because, I mean, when, when I was recording that video, I wasn't actually playing the game, I was just watching, so it was a very different style. But you'd think I would've, you'd, you'd, you'd think I would've noticed it, right? Oh god, my voice is, I'm just looking back at this video now. The joy of having two monitors. Okay, I'm just sort of checking through the house now. If all this stuff is here. Is it is it here? Let's have a look. You guys won't be able to see, so you'll have no idea what the bloody hell I'm on about. But, uh, I don't know, all that stuff's there. I did not even realise. Okay, yep, that shows you how much attention I pay. Uh, yeah. Right, what's happening? Um, I'm making a kitchen. It's already evident, probably, but still. Uh, the kitchen actually turned out really nice. I'm really happy with how the kitchen turned out. It's big, it's expensive, you've just got... Just meters of bench space, and it is beautiful. There's also a beautiful bar over in the corner, so your Sims can get absolutely smashed, mate. It'd be great, eh? Yep, that's that's the that's what everybody thinks the Australian accent is like, and I'm ashamed to admit I do know people who talk like that. You sort of, hi, mate. How you going? Yeah, mate. I'm gonna go down to the pub and get smashed, eh? Call Jerry Z if he wants to come down. I, oh, oh, yeah, mate. Uh, that's sort of what. A lot of p people do talk like that. It's just the majority of people in Australia don't. This, my accent, I think, anyway, as far as I can tell, all the people I know have an accent that's pretty much the same as me. I mean, the voices are obviously different, but the accents are the same as me. And you get a lot of people who are really well-spoken, and they sort of talk like this. Uh, yes, uh, just uh, changing up the colour of the roof now. It's, I don't know, I don't know why I went into a strange voice, but the point is there's different accents, and very few people actually talk... Like Crocodile Dundee. Just FYI, most people in Australia hate Crocodile Dundee. Because he set the wrong stereotype. So, uh, clean up your act! Stop being racist! It's racist! You're all racist. It's true. It's racist. It's ra I don't get, like, you know how, um... It's funny how that whole thing works. Because you get people who do, um... Like... Australians and Americans will do English accents where they say, Oh, hello there. Oh, yes. What's up, governor? All that sort of stuff. That's not considered racist, but if you start talking in a Chinese accent or something and pretend to be Chinese, then all of that, all of a sudden, that's racist. I mean, I, I, I don't think you should talk like that at all. It's racist either way. But the point is, it's very strange how our society figures out what's racist and what isn't. Like, it depends, like, if you say, oh, look at that Chinese person, apparently people will say, oh, no, that's racist, don't call them Chinese. If you say, look at that English person, that's not racist. There's a double standard, and I don't understand it, and it's wrong. You shouldn't be labelling any people for their ethnicity or religion or where they're from. They should just be people. We're all people, regardless of our background, our beliefs, our ethnicity, our origins, anything. We're all the people, we're all the same. And let's, let's stop hating on each other, please. 
please just we're all people we all love each other we don't all love each other but the point is we're all people i've said that so many times moving on i'm gonna stop hitting on um on like serious topics because this is not a serious video this is me rambling on while i build a house in a video game there you go that's my life right now moving into the bedrooms now i can do a commentator's voice if you like Oh, putting in the lights now. Oh, chucking the light on the wall. Easel in the corner. Putting in the bed. Looks very comfortable. Two bedside tables now. Two lamps to go with it. Painting on the wall. Very nice. Oh, he chucks in the bedside table. Oh, it's not a bedside table. Oh, God. He's got a lounge in there as well. Putting the fireplace over on the corner. Turning the rug sideways now. Fantastic move. Chucking that chair in there. Sliding in very nice. Putting two very, very bright lights on the roof now. Tiles go on the wall. Putting them in very efficiently. Tiles on the floor to match. Putting a hot tub in the corner. Sort of like that. I could definitely be a um a commentator. I should look into that. I I've, I've always liked commentating. The thing I mean obviously I'm talking. I'm commentating now. There you go. Whew. Beautiful. Anyway, yeah, that's the bathroom done. Very quick. Snappy. Snap 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 snap. I'm clicking. Can you hear that? Yeah, no, I can see it coming up on the uh, on the on the audio track. There you go. I can't click very well. Ah, it hurts my fingers. My fingers are too sweaty because I've got a header, a header, a heater blowing on me. Uh, two mirrors over there. I actually really like how this room turned out. This is one of my favorite rooms. This is actually probably my favorite room in the house in terms of furnishing because uh, it just turned out really nice. I don't know. This is sort of my, um, this is when I'm at my best when I furnish in this style. Um, I don't know. It's just, I, m maybe I just like it better than all the other ones, but I do seem to uh, furnish a bit better when I, uh, when I do that. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I could be wrong. You never know. Uh, going downstairs now, uh, putting some paintings on the wall. Uh, there's a little nook in there just with a, uh, a lounge just to fill up the space. And uh, a bookcase over there. I burped, I'm sorry. Uh, don't know if that came through in the recording, but pff, doesn't matter. Right, uh, there's the bedroom. There's also the bathroom on the left there beside, putting some stuff in there. This bedroom's very nice as well. It's sort of a more classy, I don't know, I suppose feminine style. I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't mind being in here. It's 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 a very nice sort of... It's it's an older style, I suppose. I really like that rug as well. I've never actually got a chance to use that rug. Um, but it actually fit really quite well in here. I don't know if it's sort of... It's sort of got like a brony maroon... A brony maroon. A brownie maroon on there. And it sort of maybe clashes with the blue. I don't know. I, th I think it fits quite well. I don't know. Each to their own, I suppose. Your mileage may vary, but I quite like it. Uh, putting in all the stuff for... Uh, for that, all that, all those things. I don't know. I don't know. What am I saying? I don't know. Just outside now. <laughs> I just got to the point where I've been talking for 23 minutes or 20... How long have I been talking for? 25 minutes or something? 20... 20... Yeah, 20, 20... 23 minutes. That's what I'm looking at. And yes, done. Screenshots. <laughs> I'm losing control of myself. I'm losing control of the video. Yes, here is the front of the house. First screenshot looking... Oh, very nice. Why is this screenshot lasting for so long? Okay, it was two of the exact same screenshots. Sorry, my bad. I didn't realize that. Uh, looking over the back of the house now, that is good. It, it, I just, I like the very flat, low-profile look of the house. It, does, it doesn't stick out. I mean, you see that house behind it, it's sort of just... Hello, look at me! This is just flat. It's a single story. It's smooth. It's sleek, and it looks nice. Uh, I like this walking up as well. You've got the upside-down El Spiry things. El Spiry. Yes, it's Mexican spires. Um, more Mexican spies. Hmm. James Bond. But Mexican. Ooh, I'd watch that. Uh, also, you'll notice that I just changed the little, um, bit on the corner there, in between screenshots, because I, I realized that I'd, uh, I'd missed the tiles. Uh, I put the wrong, the wrong wall tiling on the, not tiling, the wall coverings on there. It was the old sort of grey style, and then I put the concrete. Is this a wood or a concrete? I'm not sure what it is. It looks nice, so I ended up putting it on the outside. Uh, but there's the uh, the first part of the house. When you walk in, you've got uh, the galleries there. It does look very nice at night. I'm not sure if I have any screenshots of the inside at night. I don't think I do. Uh, but either way, it looks quite nice. Looking out there uh, to the dining room and then looking back from the dining room to the entry to the house. And here's the big expansive area. Looking very nice. Looking very minimalistic. That's the style I wanted to go for. It's a minimalist house, but it feels homey. So it's it's not like cramped. But the spaces that you do have feel homey. You've got plenty of um, cluttery and homey things around, like placed on shelves. But it's not like all cramped up together. It's sort of spaced out, but nicely decorated, I suppose. Your sims do get like a constant nicely decorated moodlet for this house as well, so that's a bonus. Uh, there's the dining room, looking from the dining room across to the rest of the big living area. 
and also to that art wall and into the kitchen with the skylights over there and the bar on the right. It's a huge kitchen. Your Sims are not going to have any problems cooking in this kitchen. No pathing issues, no nothing. It's not going to be a problem. You'll be able to cook to your heart's content and cook as many meals as you would like. Look at the size of it. You've got so much bench space there. Bench space? Yes, that's what it is. Um, plenty of places for your Sims to sit there. You've got four seats plus the bajillion seats of the dining table. Uh, big kitchen. I like the kitchen as well. These are definitely my favorite cabinets to use for kitchens. Uh, a couple more shots. Lots of shots of the kitchen. Okay, Brayden, move on with the kitchen. Jesus Christ, if there's one more... I'm going to flip a shit, but there's not. Awesome. Uh, here's the uh, the left-hand bedrooms. There's a, uh, a shot from the stairs that go down to the basement, looking at the other bedrooms. Here's the bedroom that I'm most proud of. I really like this one. It's quite nice. It's good. It's got an old style. It feels it feels homey. This house feels sleek, but homey. And that's the style I wanted to... Like, homey as in homely. Like, feels like a home. Not homey as in, like, a, a gangster homey. Like, what up, homey? Or mobster. Mobster? Mobster? Gangster? No, gangsters are... Like gangbangers, mobsters are specifically the mob. Hmm. Confusion. Anyway, bathroom. Yay, spa. Hot tub thing in the corner. Yes, looks nice. Bright lights. I like those lights. They're really damn bright. <laughs> I like the description for them as well. It's like, can you see now? Is this bright enough? Oh, it's beautiful. Makes me laugh. Sometimes Sims make me laugh. Uh, yes, and here's another bedroom. The second bed. I don't know which one you'd classify as first or second, but I classify this one as the second bedroom. Uh, because it's the second closest, I suppose. Or would the one downstairs be closer? Doesn't matter. This is the second bedroom. Looks nice. Lots of space. And uh, nicely decorated as well. And uh, there you can actually see out into the pool. And you can also see outside into the into the wilderness. Which is nice. Uh, there is downstairs. There's a little nook there. I should have put... Oh, no, I think there is a bookcase. Yes, there is a bookcase over there. So your Sims can sit here in the little nook. Get some quiet time. Do a bit of reading. It's very nice downstairs. Always nice. There's also some, like, spatulas and stuff down there. Because why not? You might need a spatula when reading. To, like, bookmark. Spatulas is bookmarks. Everybody does that, right? No? Anyway. <laughs> bathroom. Yay, second bathroom. It's a picture on the wall of a dude. Uh, and who's actually facing to the toilet. So there'll be a dude watching you while you're... Pooping, that's good. Uh, third bedroom. Downstairs, looks very nice. you got the bookcase over there on the wall, the easel. I imagine this would be an arty person's room because this feels like an arty person's I love that shot. That shot looks really damn nice. I like it. It looks beautiful. Uh, a very big bedroom as well. Like I said, all big bedrooms. No lack of space in this house at all. Whatsoever. Here is the back of the house. Here's the outside, the pool. The sitting areas, multiple sitting areas, nice little uh, garden over there, nice little desert garden. It's important to say it's a desert garden. Uh, and it looks nice, it looks nice. You get uh, plenty of sun out here. You would definitely want to take advantage of the sun because you're in the desert. But uh, if you get too hot, just jump in the pool with the fountains. Or sit under the uh, sit under the umbrella there, get a bit of shade, sipping some pina coladas. Or something. It's up to you. You don't have to drink. You can drink juice if you want. Fine. Uh, there's the water going along there towards the rumpus room. Here's the rumpus room. It's it's a different style to the rest of the house. This is just clutter. This is fun. Clutter, objects, things everywhere. It's what a rumpus room would be. It would be messy because just everyone uses it and nobody really cleans up after themselves because they don't spend any time in here except for when they're doing the random stuff that they do. Be it working out, researching, making drinks, whatever. Upstairs, the bedroom. If you would uh, like your twins to move in here or just two people got to squeeze them in somewhere. This is the perfect place to squeeze them in. Two, uh, two single beds and uh, enough space. Enough space. If you're not spending all your time in here. But you do get the uh, outdoor space as well. So you certainly know... You're not lacking on space when it comes to like pure floor space. Because you've got lovely outdoor views. And you can go back and get some fresh air. And look over the, uh, the rest of the world. Which is good. And also you get a nice view at the back. Look at that view. Look at that view. That is, that is one hell of a view. If the mountains in the background weren't 2D, it would be even better. Uh, but as we take a little bit of a look at the shots moving into nighttime, I want to thank you all very much for watching. If you would like to download this house, uh, it will be up on the gallery. You can just search for me on the Sims 4 gallery. Uh, I'm just Brados, B-R-A-Y-D-O-Z. I also hate that username. It's I came up with it a long time ago, just for any of you all who were wondering. Yeah, if you want the house, it'll be up there. <clears throat> God, my voice is dying. Thank Christ, the video's over. Um, I will do my best to actually down upload. I know this house is actually already uploaded because I do have a problem with uploading the house. Uh, or saying I'm going to upload the house and like leaving it for a week and then realizing, oh, I never actually put it 
on the gallery. Feels bad. Uh, but yes, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I will catch you in the next video. And until then, as always, stay awesome.